The shot clock off, 18.1 left in this ball game. And a foul right there on Guthrie, it looks like. So one more foul to give. Falls on the baseline, baseline out of bounds. Yeah, Smisco continues. So in person, we'll check into the ball game, and we might see some offense defense for Coach Smesco. As Imani Jefferson checks out of the ball game. A very long possession underneath. So that will be now one timeout left for Oklahoma. Well, Jenny Moranchek is one that doesn't want to take any chances here, needs to find a way to get the ball inbounds, utilize a little bit of time. They will have a chance at the free throw line here for sure. I'm sure that Florida Gulf Coast will foul, make Oklahoma prove it at the free throw line. Jefferson out right now, as you mentioned, with those four fouls, she can't be in the game. They need her too much at the offensive end once they get possession. Oklahoma looking to extend their second round appearance to three straight. So they're about 18.1 away. If they can hold on to this two point lead, Florida Gulf Coast has one to give, two to put them at the free throw line, and they'll have to foul here quickly. A lot of time, a couple of ticks off the clock. So the next one will send them to the free throw line. So Persons with the third. Fourth for Tata and four for Jefferson as well. Van gets the ball and you can see Guthrie trying to reach in for the foul on Van. And she'll step up to the free throw line, shot 77% from the charity stripe on the season. And Van three for four today. So here Williams checks in the ball game. We'll send Aubrey Jones to the bench. Let's go make it. Well, she made two. It would have been a two possession game. Now just looking to see if she can make it a three point ball game. With Florida Gulf Coast having timeouts, do they advance it? The timeout is called for the Eagles, so they'll be able to advance it. They'll get it at half court near the bench. And they've got 15 seconds left. One of the best three-point shooting teams in the country just down three. I don't think you're going to do that much different if you're Somesco right now with your team. You're going to have a quick look for, obviously, any good basket you can get. If you're Oklahoma State, you're switching everything. Don't give any threes up. Switch immediately. You might give a layup up, and this game will then be, again, extended with a quick foul by Florida Gulf Coast. Biggest thing right now, if you're Oklahoma, though, is you do not want to give up a three. They have four players on their roster, the Eagles, that have hit two or more threes in this ball game. In your opinion, everyone has the hot hand, but who do you go to down the stretch? Well, I, I think whoever is open, because all of them can shoot the basketball if you're looking for a three. Uh, again, there's enough time to get a two and then put Oklahoma back on the free throw line if you want. So look for a good look, maybe a fade screen into the corner. Shooting. The clock will be adjusted to 15.8 on the game clock. The two players that have shot well that are in the game right now are Karens, that's their deadly three-point shooter at the guard position, and Tata, who hit those critical threes in the first half but hasn't hit a three since then. Alicia Brentner, our lead official, was able to let us know that they put .8 back on the shot, the game clock. Lots of communication going to have to come from the Sooner side defensively. Defense, 
And still no Jefferson in the game right now. So Uju Azudu, who's knocked down a couple of threes today. Cairns takes the ball out and finds Sophia Person. Still looking for the three, 10 on the game clock. Bartram with the rock at the top of the key. They've got to let something go. A lot of contact underneath. That's off the fingertips and a jump ball is called. Point seven left on the game clock and the possession goes to the Eagles. Florida Gulf Coast was looking for a three point shot. They didn't even take it to the rim right there. As you see Tot with her legs up in the air. Getting a little bit of stretching. Good job by Oklahoma of switching on everything. A good con contest right there. I don't know about that, diving on top of somebody. But it is a jump ball, and Florida Gulf Coast will have an opportunity here as they adjust the clock. I don't know about Skylar Band maybe getting away with some contact at the top of the key. That's what Coach Mesco was worried about. And had a conversation with the officials. You, you can see Todd being tended to. Hopefully just a cramp and able to work out. You can see the stretching that the trainers are on the baseline. The clock will be adjusted to one second. Florida Gulf ball on the end line. So one second will be enough for a catch and shoot here. They have point one on the clock yeah, right now, which be. is not right. It is one second on the clock. They Perfect. Perfect. She's got it handled. Perfect. Alicia Grittner, Doug Knight, and Marla Gearhart on the call for today's game with Florida Gulf Coast in Oklahoma. And Samesco getting a bit of extra time with his team to talk about this out of bounds play as Tot is being tended to on the baseline. Again, five shooters on the floor. Washington not on the or Jefferson not on the floor because percentage wise she's not their best shooter. Good to see Todd being able to walk off. Lexi Hayes in the game. You want to make Florida Gulf Coast put the ball on the floor. A lot of length as well on Oklahoma, so We'll have to adjust to get it up. Point four, so was able to knock that one out. A timeout. So the Eagles call their last timeout. And Oklahoma has one more, but hoping just to close this one out. This has been a long game. We've seen it go back and forth uh, through this game. South Carolina, the number one overall seed. We'll see North Carolina tomorrow at 1 Eastern on ABC in Indiana. Just awaiting to see the winner of this ball game. They'll see them on Monday for the Regional 1 in Albany. This is the Bloomington Bottom. Angel Bray alongside the Hall of Famer and Andrea Lloyd. And this has been a game that's gone back and forth. Oklahoma did not have a good start, but we've seen a different look from them. Skylar Van has been huge. Yeah, Skylar, Skylar Van, stretch. she has been huge. And I thought Oklahoma found a little bit of pace in the second uh, half, in the third quarter, especially when they switched their defense up. Right now, though, attention, point four on the shot clock, which means she can still technically catch and shoot. At point three, you have to tip the basketball, but it would have to be a catch and shoot either with a foul and a two or a three-pointer, a three-point attempt here if you want to tie the game. And we saw the action going towards the corner with Briley Bartram that was actually knocked out of bounds. We'll see if they draw up something different on this time. The officials are back at the scores table. Not sure what they're addressing. I'm assuming they're looking at time. So should, did the clock stop in time after the ball was touched out of bounds? And the players a little confused, guarding each other already, but we are not ready to play. Yeah, just keep an eye on, looked like it started a little bit late and stopped a little bit late. But it was an illegal inbound with it being knocked out. So time does have to come off. I don't know if it was that much. Well, a couple tenths a second have to come off on a, on a deflection like that. But 
I think that if you're Florida Gulf Coast, you want to see a couple extra ticks up there. Correct. So you have a chance to get a shot off, a catch and shoot comfortably. And again, with point three on the clock, it can be only a tap. Mm -hmm. Point four, catch and shoot. Jen Baranchek talking about stay locked in, switch on everything. Again, don't foul the three-point shooter. So fitting that towards the end of her practices and shoot around that we've seen today, they were going over defense. So hopefully the communication and the recall and muscle memory of how to get things done at the last point four of this ball game will be in their favor. Florida Gulf Coast mixing things up in the paint a little bit. We'll see what magic they can create. Out top. Azudu just short. Front of the rim. That was a terrific look for Florida Gulf Coast and Azudu totally capable of knocking that shot down. And how about Oklahoma? They clawed and scratched their way back into this game. So many players on Florida Gulf Coast that have to definitely can't leave this game hanging their head. The fans that have showed up throughout the season, but Oklahoma avoids the upset and they'll dance on and see Indiana on Monday as they punch their ticket and get the win here today. We can Feels like there's just a collective sigh of relief by anybody rooting for or in an Oklahoma jersey. That is a terrific look by Azudu. You see Coach Semenko in the background. Had their chance to have a third time upset of a number five seed, but did not happen. The performance for Oklahoma, 40 points in the second half. It was a different look for them offensively, defensively. But what a fun game that we were able to witness down the stretch.